In this presentation, I will discuss the basic dilution air requirements for the Type B gas appliances. This information is of a general nature and should only be used with additional training. The Australian standard that will be used is the AS1375. I am designing a continuous printing machine using a force draft natural gas burner. What dilution air should I use? How much dilution air should I use? What if the solvents that I use are different? What if the temperature of the dilution air changes? Or should I use ambient temperature? What is dilution air? Dilution air is the supply of fresh air or other suitable dilutant and its circulation, distribution and exhaust to outside atmosphere in a quantity sufficient to dilute the concentration of a flammable vapour or dust to such an extent that it cannot be ignited. Where can I find the dilution air flow rate formula? The formula can be found in AS1375 under Appendix F called dilution and the formula is D equals CVAQF. D is the air flow rate at a specific air temperature in cubic metres per second and that's what we'll be calculating and should find out at the finish of the equation. V is the volume of vapour at 20 degrees C produced per litre of solvent in cubic metres per litre and A is the volume of air required to render one cubic metre of solvent barely explosive. Both air and vapour at 20 degrees C and the units are cubic metres per cubic metre. Generally speaking, the common characteristics of common flammable liquids can be found in AS1375, Table G, and if you have a look under the column heading headed air rendered barely explosive by one litre of liquid solvent in cubic metres that will give you the requirement for this component. C is a safety factor and depending on whether it's a continuous oven or not or a batch oven then you should decide which one to use. Q is the instantaneous evaporation rate of a liquid in litres per second which you should be able to find out. And F is a temperature and volume correction factor. Therefore, if it is above ambient temperature, and ambient temperature here is taken to be 20 degrees C, then it shall change. The project we're going to look at now is a single stage continuous printing machine that requires an air supply at a temperature of 110 degrees C and releases 45 litres per hour of ethanol. The airflow is monitored in the exhaust. What is the minimum dilution air necessary for this appliance? The equation is D equals CVA QF and C will equal 4 as per AS1375 F6. VA will look up on table G which is 12.3. Q which is 45 litres per hour and needs to be converted to litres per second and F because the air temperature is 110 it needs to be calculated out and it's 1.31. The variables will be substituted into the formula. Now D equals 4 times 12.3 times 0 0.0125 times 1.31 which equals 0 0.80565 cubic metres per second or 805.6 litres per second. And sometimes, to avoid nuisance trips, the air supply is increased by 25% or to the process requirements if they are greater. To summarise this presentation, we have looked at dilution air and what it is. We have looked at dilution air and when we should use it, and it should be used to dilute vapours and dust in explosive atmospheres. We have looked at how to calculate the dilution air and we use the formula from AS1375 under dilution. We have done a worked example and into the formula and decided how many litres of air we are required to dilute the explosive atmosphere. If you want any additional information, please call Greg Hager on 9251 3024.